Design Your Life Style with Barry and Joni is brought to you by Harding Outdoor Living. Resort life is as easy as stepping into your own backyard. We're rubbing things up for the month of May. Style, fashion, and fun. Welcome to Design Your Life Style with Barry and Joni. I'm Joni Michaels. And I'm Barry Lance. Getting ready for Mother's Day, the big week. Do you yes. ever feel like there's so much pressure? No. I never do. <laughs> I really, I really don't. I always know. I'm, I've always planned ahead. I know what I'm going yeah. to do. Do you have any big plans for Mother's Day? Well, there, I guess I stress about it a little bit because I think, gosh, my mom has done so much for me, mm -hmm. and you know, what could, I, what could I possibly do for her? Mm -hmm. So, gonna keep it a little low key. My niece mm -hmm. is graduating from nice. nursing school. Oh, on Mother's Day. On Mother's oh, Day. Oh, so, that's congratulations, great. Nurse Rachel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna obviously go to her graduation. Uh huh. And and um, got a little something special planned for afterwards, and we're going out to eat because no one likes my cooking. No, so, although I wouldn't know about that, it. She's never yeah. asked me over. <laughs> That's to the eat best anything. Mother's Day gift ever. Dinner the fact that I don't cook. That you don't cook. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go see my mom. Hi, mom. Happy Mother's Day. Hi. I'm sure she's watching. She is. She's my best friend. We love and her. And I love her. And you love your mom. So yes. I um, did a little shopping here for Mother's Day. Uh, you went to Claudia's place. I went to Claudia's. <laughs> I went to Charles Meyer. My mother loves pink, so I brought a lot of pink things. Joni, you would yeah. like those too. You I like love Shaw's. It. The fringe is really the on trend right great. now. Now, I'm not sure my mother would like this, what? but yeah. I think you would Look dig at this. this. That is a phone, um, what do you call it, a crossbody yeah. for your phone. You put your phone here. Now, I had never seen these before. Maybe they're around. I don't know. Well, they're around, but this one is very exceptionally chic. nice. Yeah, it's yeah. very chic. I like the fact that it can lay you know, a little chic. bit closer. Well, you to know, Claudia, Charles Meyer is one of my favorite stores in town because you can go there and you can become inspired, not with only gifts for ladies, but gifts for men mm, as well. Great. So, uh, yeah, a great place to even register, you know, if, you, mm -hmm. if you're thinking about taking the plunge, you want to get registered. So, yeah. and guess what? We're going to be taking a great tour today of okay. Gobby Hearth and Home. Good. So, get ready for that. It's very interactive. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether your project is really, really large. Or maybe it's small scale, like a remodel, because yeah. Gobby Hearth and Home can be the perfect destination. Yes, you don't have to have a great big new house and yeah. you don't have to do a great big remodel. You can be more intimate with just the fireplace in your existing home. We're with Brian Adams at Godby Hearth and Home. And again, this is a great place, right? To just kind of stop in. It's a one-stop shop. Yes, it's. Uh, we love having people come in just asking us for ideas. It's a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of, have a lot of people that come in and we call it a refresh of their fireplace or their shower door. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily engaged with a large remodel project, but we can update the fireplace doors, we can update the gas logs or change the media to a more contemporary glass with a linear burner. Mm -hmm. So people do not have to have a full remodel project going in order for us to help them yeah. create a different look within a room. You don't have to tear out the whole fireplace to update it, and I do think a lot of times people can update their whole living room just by changing the doors. I mean, fireplace doors, they had a certain look to them right. uh, for a while, and now they're, they're almost like there is no metal on them at all. If they want to do more modern or, or clean it up or just change the finish of the metal. Absolutely, and I tell everybody all the time, I can tell you when the house is built based on the color of the door on the you fireplace. Can. <laughs> you can, yeah. What so, seems to be the current trend yeah. color? Uh, it's really moved on. It was, uh, you know, brushed nickel is very popular in a lot of the rooms, mm -hmm. but in the fireplace area, uh, black has always stayed strong. It's mm -hmm. a very long lasting look. Mm -hmm. And a lot of more earth tones, a mahogany, those types of colors are really yeah. Sometimes that goes away. Well, I'm yes. on trend. I'm glad to hear that. You are always on trend. <laughs> Because you're with me and Brian at Godby Hearth and Home, the interactive studio at the Indiana Design Center in Carmel. Thank you, Brian, for being with us again. How can you beat 
take the heat this spring and summer and still look good doing it? Well, we brought in the style pros, Morgan Bediaco, also Katie Rector from Salon 01, and we're talking a girl's worst nightmare, heat, humidity, but how to keep cool doing it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Morgan, let, let's talk about the face. Um, eyebrows, you know, lips, foundation, where do we start? And in your opinion, you know, what are the essentials? Well, right now, some of the top trends for the summer and spring of 2016 are a bold brow, which we featured on this model, and then we also have watermelon lips. So right here, there's a lot of different shades that you can choose from. And what's really great is no matter what brand you like, you can always find a cost-effective version at the drugstore as well. So what did you bring for brows? So what I brought for brows were I brought two options. We have a cost effective option from Maybelline. Great thing, you can get at CVS. But then we also have Cinebrow, which is a salon quality brand. Got it, good. Mm -hmm. And keep with the melon colored lipsticks, yeah, right? Yeah, and that's what we featured on our model. Yeah, what about the foundation? So my two favorite foundations to beat the heat are Estee Lauder Double Wear. This will withstand any humidity and it's also waterproof. If you want a little bit of a lighter option, you can do Makeup Forever HD. Okay, a couple of great choices yeah. there. Let's talk hair though, because we all know when the heat turns up, sometimes the hair can fall down. Katie, first of all, gorgeous. Tell us what you've done with, Thank you. with her hair. Yeah, so we did um, a statement braid in the front here along with a top knot um, look. So top knots can be really polished like um, what Alexa is wearing today. They can also be really messy and fun. Just kind of throw your hair up, put a braid around it, and you're good to go. Super fun for yeah, any event too, absolutely. right? From Very a wedding easy. to a concert yep. to a graduation, you are set and ready to go. Yep. What about product though? Because I know for me a lot of times I feel like, oh, it's it's humid and I've got all this product in my hair. Right. It's weighing it yeah. down. Yeah, absolutely. So you have the problem of your hair getting weighed down. So there's typically two different problems that we have. Our hair either gets frizzy or it gets flat. So for flat hair, I recommend using a dry shampoo, one that has um, a little bit of hold and grit to it. You mm -hmm. can spray it throughout the whole hair, um, focus on the base of the hair close to the scalp to uh, really add yeah. that volume. Good tip. Yeah, and so for people that have more of the frizz problem, maybe have naturally curly hair or wavy hair, I recommend something like the Behave here from Biomega. It has, um, it's a great smoothing product. It also has UV filters in it, and so, so do some of the other products that um, we have showcased today. Yeah, so some really, really great options there. Well, thank you so much helping us, you know, beat the heat, but continue to look good doing it, right? Summer weddings are the best. And while you don't want to upstage the bride, you still want to look good. Absolutely. Admit it. <laughs> Brittany Marie is here of Brittany Marie Styling. So good to see you. You too. Always beautifully. Cutie patootie well, thank right you so here. so much. So what is on trend right now with summer weddings? Absolutely. So... I am noticing that weddings have become so much, so much more casualized. Um, so like one of the looks I have here. Yeah, she's um, gorgeous by the way. <laughs> Love her hair. Yes, it's beautiful. But, um, this is from Ann Taylor Loft and what I love about this is, you know, the corals and then the tribal prints which are really in right now. And you know, a lot of people say you can't wear whites to a wedding, but this is more like an off-white and I think that this is still very appropriate to wear, very especially with such a, you know, bright colored outfit. Fun, festive, Absolutely. but you know, but it's still classy enough to wear yes. to a wedding. Now, a maxi dress, Yes, right? and that is from Magnolia Boutique Online. Um, that's another great casual look. Throw with a pair of wedges or a little denim jacket. Mm -hmm. um, and then another one of my favorite things to do, or I think that's really important for a wedding, is to have a great pair of heels. Oh, um, definitely. That's a great accessory. And then, um, you know, a hat always is really great too. You know, that's one of my favorite things to accessorize yeah. with is a great hat. And I love it too, because if you are having a bad hair day, you yes. know, you can always, you know, not that you are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about for the guys? So I think some really important things to add to a men's outfit is a great watch or a fun, you know, pattern or colorful pair of socks. Mm -hmm. Also, if you are going to a really casual wedding, doing yeah. like a colored pair of denim or just jeans in general, rolling them up with you know a really fun pair of shoes. Um, and then on the model over here, we are seeing yeah. a suit. And this is from Men's Warehouse. And this is Ben. Oh, yes. what a great suit. It looks lightweight. Absolutely. And you know, and you could pop the color with a different tie if you yeah, wanted to. You could you could put in so many different colors or patterns with that. Um, also, a little pocket square would be you know a great accessory. Yeah. Um, and Vince's then you know, looking a good, good tailor as well. 
<laughs> okay, and now we have Alexis Gorgeous. Tell yes, us about what I she's wearing. I love this look. Pastels again are really in. Um, so she is wearing a look again from Magnolia Boutique. Um, I love this A-line kind of 60s vibe yeah. dress. You know, and her hair is so fun with the high pony and, yes. uh, and the jewelry. Oh, and you gave her a little clutch to carry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that you kind of added, you know, the pastel pink with that. I think it gives it a really fun yeah. pop of color with the shoes as well. And the yeah, jewelry. her shoes are fun. I was going to say, you know, she's got a nice heel on. So, you know, it still makes, makes your legs it... look great. You yeah. always got to throw in a really great heel. Well, and she's so. gorgeous too. I Absolutely. Mean, she would look good in a, a, in a, a paper smile. bag, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, she would. So, two great online um, options that are out there. Yeah. So, see, lots of options for men and the ladies yes. uh, for those summer weddings. You're going to look so good. Again, we don't want to upstage the bride. No, of course not. But we but... want to look good, right? Yeah. For the wedding and the reception. <laughs> a lot of pictures uh, going on. That's so. right. Brittany Marie Styling. She's my stylist. She rocks. We're moving outside at the Indiana Design Center and we're coloring today with Andrea Claymeyer, the marketing director of the Indiana Design Center in Carmel. And you have brought beautiful things here to inspire everybody to move it outdoors. Yes, you can have great design outside as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's a great movement toward this outdoor room mm -hmm. and people are really trying to make great choices and um, enhance their living in the summer and the warm months. So that's everything from a full on outdoor kitchen where you've got your, your awesome grill but also refrigeration right there, prep station, maybe a brick pizza oven right. um, can be and in the fire backyard. Pits. Fire pits are really popular. Mm -hmm. um, different styles from more traditional to modern. Yes. That's an exciting new thing. And and then outdoor TVs uh -huh. that are weather resistant, so they can withstand the rain, but also sub-zero temperatures. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You can watch the game in your backyard. You well, know, the, the outdoor living trend is just amazingly um, popular right now because we all want to use that space outside and extend ourselves outside. Yes. So all of these ideas can be um, found at the Indiana Design Center, where you also found these. And tell right. me about those, they're beautiful. Yes, this is really neat because it's a whole line of color options for outdoor furniture, and uh -huh. like Adirondack chairs. Again, uh -huh. you just don't have to have only white, blue, or red. We see a lot of that. There's these great ways to express yourself. And then all of these fabrics, these are indoor outdoor fabrics. Mm -hmm. So we're getting away from just solid options or maybe stripes and you've or got that really nylon stuff or yes. the strapping. Mm -hmm. This is much more comfortable. Yeah, and it will withstand being in the sun. It won't fade quickly mm -hmm. like an indoor. Um, and one tip is it works really good on indoor fabric if you want something durable. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it works just terrifically. Mm -hmm. Now, at the Indiana Design Center, we have these workshops that I'm going to let you tell us about too. Yes, on the third Tuesday of each month, a designer hosts a workshop for the public. So they can learn everything from color trends to what's new on market and what's happening in the industry. And we welcome anyone to come to those. They're all listed on our website at indianadesigncenter.com. Well, it's the best place in town to get ideas about design and lifestyle, the Indiana Design Center in Carmel. Andrea, thanks for being here. Thank you. I love working with her. In honor of Mother's Day, today's Star Style features one very famous sitcom mom. Yeah, well, and Come I, on now, meet everybody. Shirley, Shirley, yes. leave Shirley out of it, but bring the Partridge family back. <laughs> we love you, Shirley Jones, but let's take a look at your $2 million home. Barry, this is what you get for $2 million these days in Southern California. Five bedrooms, seven baths. The outdoors on this home are gorgeous. But now we're inside. Um, I'm not sure about the interior. What do you think? I say tear down. It's horrible. Look at this Oklahoma with all the oak furniture. <laughs> Can you believe this? It looks a little sitcom -ish, It looks right? like sitcom set. No, this is really bad. Yeah. At two million, you tear this thing down and you build what you want, right? But that's okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think the outdoors on this home is really what's going to sell it, but very That's spacious. Right. It's pretty. Yeah. Pretty. Well, we'll be back with Cottages to Castles right here in the Indianapolis Indy area. Whether your outdoor lifestyle is centered around more intimate or bigger gathering spaces, there's more to outdoor living than a patio. Resort life is as easy as stepping into your own backyard with Harding Outdoor Living. Kevin Forbes of the Harding Group and a team of pro design landscapers can turn your vision into a reality beyond expectation. Harding Outdoor Living brings the wow factor every time. And Kevin, tell me about your design philosophy. 
Very, our basic design philosophy is to create elegant, unique spaces for entertaining, relaxation, with the, the goal of transporting our customers from the frustrations and routine of everyday life to their own private resort. Kevin, what sets you apart from the others? Well, Harding Outdoor Living is a full service firm. We have the visionary to create the imagination. We have the craftsman to turn it into reality. But Harding Outdoor Living is a part of the Harding Group, which is a company that has been around since 1960. They were born here in Indianapolis and they know the entire central Indiana region very well. Turn your outdoor living space into a conversation piece. Resort living in your own backyard begins with Harding Outdoor Living. I'm Barry, not Sherry, and we're talking about Cottage to Castles, and I want to talk to Clay and Deborah about the, this new resurgence of reconstruction and remodeling because the inventory is so low, right, Deborah? Absolutely. It's the best time. It's a good time, feel good marketplace because right now there's not enough inventory out there. So we're getting a lot of multiple offers. When you don't have a lot of inventory, what happens is then people start looking and gravitating to new construction. To new construction yeah. and, and Clay making them stay in the same place without buying a new home, which, you know, what does that do to your market? I mean, that decreases it even more, doesn't it? It, it can do, but there's a lot of people that are buying homes, fixing them up, uh, adding a second story, uh -huh. uh, especially in Washington Township and downtown, uh -huh. where you don't have an abundance of uh, available lots to build on. But right. once you get up into the suburbs, we're seeing the builders are back, um, there's a lot of opportunity, and with new build, you have a start date and a finish date, so you have it all planned out. Right. Um, so you have a better idea of when you can move into When you can house. move in and what to do. You know, the resurgence actually began in downtown Indy. I think everybody, most of our viewers realize what's been going on in downtown Indy with the new condominiums, mm -hmm. all the new office buildings, so much going on down there. So it's gone north, east, south, and west. I mean, we're having IKEA come to Indianapolis, right. or to Fisher's, Fantastic. I should say. People want to be around those particular mm -hmm. areas. So it's rippled from downtown mm -hmm. out to the burbs. Even yeah. we have burbs. We've got, oh, yeah. We've got the burbs. We've got the burbs in Indianapolis and Carmel and all that. So this whole thing with the inventory is real important to the real estate industry. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's a lot of people, and I mean, it's not just one price point. I sold one earlier this year that sold for $200,000. Somebody bought it, redid the kitchen, bathrooms, windows, roof, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's, I think it's every price point. It's and not, not only that, but they buy it, they redo it, you know, they resell it. They can resell and, it. And, right. you know, and, and in today's world, it's a great, great thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that probably one of our best markets right now, people are in, a little bit in question sometimes, I think it's right now. Right. Mm -hmm. the, it's, uh -huh. it's the unknown, and it's so exciting for Clay and I. And I think one of the most important things, and I know Clay and I often agree on this, is when you go out, to a new construction site, which is really, really important. Mm -hmm. Make sure your realtor accompanies you. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And if she's not there or he's not there, you make sure and let them know you are working hand in hand with a realtor. With a realtor who is professional and knowledgeable about either new construction or that present home that's absolutely. ready for sale. It all is it all fingers together with inspections and with clear titles right. and the professionalism that a realtor brings to the table, to the round table, Absolutely. right? To the round table. And not only that, but you know, I would always want to have, you know, my realtor with me because you know what? <laughs> Knowledge is power. Not only do I want a great realtor, but I would like to have a great financial person with me because they are the ones who make all the magic happen. Mm -hmm. Right, and, and you have a good partner in that. Oh, that? we have, have a, a great, a partner. great yeah. partner in Access National yes. Mortgage. Yeah. Yes, they're helpful. If you have all those players on the stage at the same time, the show is better. It you takes know? a village. It takes a village. We are the village. And it Absolutely. takes a cast of people to make a professional buy and purchase, and a, you know that's a big thing to do in your life. So thank you, Clay, and thank Great you, Deborah, here. my friends from the Realtors Roundtable, Sotheby's. Good to be with you. Well, you know, Barry, for more information, please go to collegestocastles.com and learn all about our partners. Okay. Who doesn't want a wider, brighter smile? Well, Dr. John Lau is here from Contemporary Dental Concepts. Always good to have you here. Good to be here. And. Uh, I don't know of one person who would not agree with that. Everybody wants, right, that whitest, the whitest smile that they can get. Um, 
Do you ever find though with your practice that people come in and say, hey, is it bad for my teeth? I mean, could it be bad? I, I think with some people you have to worry about it because with whitening, you know, you can overdo things. But I think in general, if you keep things in moderation, you get the whiteness you want to achieve and then you back off. I think that's probably good advice for about anything in life. Okay, so you do have to be aware of the enamel on the teeth. It seems to me that there are so many options out there for whitening. You know, you're bombarded with messages about it all day long. There's a lot of marketing techniques behind it, but you know, I think zoom whitening was an example, one that we did for quite some time, and I know some dentists currently still do it. There's some arguments as to whether it, it is really good and it actually get, gives you good results. I really believe that the best is to take home whiteners. I think they work in those different strengths and we can get the results we want pretty quickly. Okay, and you usually should get that from your dentist, right? Yeah, there's a lot of things over the counter that surprisingly can work well. I think the problem is is that you, when you don't have a tray and they're not professionally made, some things that can happen and you'll get some splotchy results that you really don't like if you do them away from the dentist. Yeah, I was going to ask you if there were things that you should definitely, you know, steer clear of this. I mentioned the zoom whitening and whitening that was really a fad that probably about 10 years ago go really came into style and unfortunately a lot of people that would want to get married would do it the two or three days before and have beautiful white teeth but then they'd have drawback and then the teeth would fall down some and, and we had trouble maintaining that but uh, uh, people still do it and uh, it's probably something there that you're going to see less and less of as time goes on. What about um, you know if you've got you know, like crowns, fillings, uh, veneers, that Great type of question. thing? Great question. Yeah, whiteners don't work on crowns and they're not going to change fillings and if you have fillings in the front of your mouth and you whiten your teeth, we have to take that into consideration because that filling will look a little different once it's all whitened around it. And uh, I wanted to ask you, how fun is it? Uh, Dr. Lau works with the Indianapolis 500 Princess Program. He's worked with them. You worked for the Indianapolis Ice. Just, you know, how fun is it to work with some of those folks? It was a blast. I think, you know, what a lot of times as you go through different things, you meet a lot of great people, and, and they all are different in different ways, and, and teeth is a big part of a lot of those things we just mentioned, but the Indian Ice, they didn't care as much about their teeth <laughs> as the princesses. The young guys, right? Yes, yes. Well, thank you, Dr. Lau. Thank so you. keep on smiling. <laughs>
Double board certified and nationally respected facial plastic surgeon Dr. Katherine Winslow talks about the importance of looking and feeling good. I was able to take my skills to Walter Reed where I was able to help reconstruct the faces of soldiers coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. And that really led to a passion of making people look and feel as best as possible with facial injuries as well as simply cosmetic rejuvenation. For more information, go to IndieFace.com. Closed captioning for Style with Barry and Joni is brought to you in part by Contemporary Dental Concepts. Dr. John Lau has been creating healthy, beautiful smiles for over 20 years with two convenient locations in Carmel and Frankton. For a complimentary consultation, call 317-575-TEETH. Come in as patients, leave as friends. And Winslow Facial Plastic Surgery and Medical Spa, where we help you put your best face forward. Visit IndieFace.com. Well, you wouldn't want to do this one. I don't know. But, Nothing wrong with a pink well, house. Well, it's a pink house. There's a song <laughs> like that. And then there are green, shades of green. Uh -huh. Hey, Mike, I didn't know you were rolling tape. Come on in. <laughs> Mike, are, Mike's always here. Mike's you know that. Mike's always here. Right? He's been so great, Mike has, to us. And at our location, Godby Hearth and Home in the Indiana Design Center. Brian Adams, the owner, has been a wonderful host, and this is just such yeah. a great interactive place. Very interactive, you know, if you're talking about showers, if, you know, fireplaces, custom, you know, custom yeah. glass, charcoals, gas grills. It goes they can on help and you on. out. So they, they have great ideas here. So everybody must come and see this beautiful showroom. Okay, Joni, you want to paint your house. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I think okay. it's time. Okay. No. And of course, free advice. She's always wanting free advice. So I'm trying to give her some ideas about <laughs> paint colors. But um, I can't remember. Do you have shutters on your house? And uh, no. No I do shutters. Not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't need no. to dress it up with a pop of color. Really, I remember your landscaping is wonderful. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, ha I have a large lot, a lot yeah, of trees. Two story. Yeah. So sometimes so. you don't need to gingerbread it up and trim right. it out. And we've got some great pictures. I, I love to show pictures of examples. Okay. I mean, the, the one house here is really monotone. Yeah, that's I mean, a, no big color yeah, change. That's a little bit more subdued. Yeah. Let me ask you this. If you want to gingerbread the house up, what style home works best with that? Well, naturally, the gingerbread goes best on Victorian, you know, with all the rickrack. I think of those little houses like rickrack, they're doll houses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can use a lot of contrasting colors and accent the under eaves, accent the railings. Right. Um, but you know, you can always keep, everybody thinks the roof and the house have to be different colors. But here's a really good picture of a house where the roof and the sides of the house oh, yeah. are the same. It makes it look bigger. Interesting, yeah. right? It expands that. Makes it right. look just a little bit bigger. Right. Well, some great tips now. Will you come over and paint the house too? No, or? I, I don't okay. do labor, no. <laughs> well, I'll thanks tell for, you how to do it, but I'm not doing it. Well, thanks for joining us on Design Your Lifestyle with Barry and Joni. Yeah.